I was sitting in the living room and I looked up at my mom and my sister and I was like, I feel more like a girl than a boy. And at the time, I just, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, that's just how I feel. And my mom and sister were like, okay. So they looked up a long like list of definitions and they read off a ton like what being gay was and like a ton of them. And then they came across the definition of transgender and I was like, that's the one, that's exactly how I feel. They were really supportive. The next day we were already shopping for new girl clothes. And I remember I got like this beautiful purple butterfly dress that I was just like in love with. Um, and of course immediately put it on as soon as I got home. And I think just being able to like have that support like with my whole family was amazing. So this year I am a freshman. I think that most people just forget that I'm trans. Like it's not really like, when they like think of me, it's not like, oh, it's Jude, that trans girl, you know, it's just, hey, oh, that's Jude, the one who plays soccer, or the one who loves math. So Jude's Law, formerly known as the Birth Certificate Modernization Bill, was named after me because I was testifying since I was nine for the bill and just showed up each year, even though I got rejected each year until 2019. And I wrote a little story in fourth grade um, to like read. And I did, and I wasn't scared. And I was just kind of, I think I've gotten a little bit more nervous actually each time I go as I like get older and actually realize the actual like weight of like testifying. Representative Titone and I have known each other for a while now. And I think it's really just cool to see that she was like the first elected official that's trans in Colorado. To see trans people that are out and visible, it's really, inspiring for me. I think in the trans community, I think that we all kind of inspire each other at times. To see Jude really grow into who she is, is, has really been amazing to watch. She may look at me as a role model, I kind of look at her as a role model too. After I had first testified when I was nine, <laughs> I had gotten into the Capitol elevator and was on my way out of the Capitol, I was feeling disappointed, obviously, because the bill had been shot down. And I remember we were in the elevator, and one of the state legislators that I had just testified in front of was talking to someone, and they said, did you see that little boy testifying up there? And I remember, at first, it didn't really click. He was talking about me, um, a nine-year-old, in front of me that kind of hit hard and I was like, wow. I was like, okay, that's like, really shows you who some people would actually elect into office. That's not who I really am. I'm, you know, I'm Jude <laughs> and I'm a girl. I have enough confidence in myself that those comments don't faze me, but I know that there are a lot of other kids out there who don't have that confidence and that could be shattered by a comment like that. So I think that's honestly partially what keeps me going with my advocacy work.